Yeah, I came back. Weird, right? Well, basically, I got bored, so I'm gonna play this game for the next few minutes. No promises. I don't know what it is either. I just found it and thought it would be cool. So, without further ado, let's do this shit. This actually looks really cool. I guess that's the right thing to press. I get to choose? Oh my god. Oh, what button do I press? There we go. That's insane. Man, the things that don't get localized. To this day. Let me play. Alright, I'm playing. That's a kick. It's a jump. That doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, kick and jump. Is that it? Shoulder buttons. Alright, let's just try this. <laughs> Got it. An attack button and a jump button. And that's it for right now. But I'm willing to bet. There's something else in the mix. This is like Streets of Rage, but... Uh, I don't even know what. Just It feels exactly like... I'm not just saying it's a beat-em-up, I'm saying it feels exactly like Streets of Rage, but... You play as the core cast of Sailor Moon. Oh, come on. It's not very fair to me. Wait, is anybody back in the chat? <laughs> hey, dude. When was that? Oh, man. Sorry I missed that. Macho Taco, how do I... I can't remember who you are. Your name sounds familiar, though. Could be wrong. You think he's still in here? Can't really check right now.
No, Macho Tuck. Oh, he is? Who is that? And my favorite Scalar Scout is, uh... Scalar Scout. My favorite Sailor Scout is the one that I chose. I just, I remember liking her when I was a kid. I wasn't too up on the lore or the canon or anything for this show. But I still watched it. It came on, like, UPN or something. But I liked her because she shot fireballs, and my rationale was like, that made her the most similar to Mario. Therefore, she was the coolest. Oh, nice! I got a new follower tonight. That's fucking awesome, dude. Thank you. That is a big deal. Macho Taco, you are a big deal. Honestly, though, that's really cool. I'm glad you're uh, watching, man. I, st I stopped streaming at, like, um... Like 9.30 my time. I stopped streaming like 30 minutes ago and was gonna call it a night and then I got bored and started it back up and like I've never done that before, so. Those toys in the back look like little shin chans. I'd like to think that's what they are. And I'm not just hallucinating. But no, it's a lucky ass break for me, dude. I got a follower for choosing to stream for another minute. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, these guys actually kill you. Like. I don't know anything, this is the first time I've played this game, and I didn't know it existed until a minute ago, because I was, like, doing this weird thing where I was going to look at weird games to play the next time I did a stream, and I was like, that looks so neat, I actually want to play it right now, so I started streaming again. This game, it's some kind of Sailor Moon beat-em-up game from the uh, early 90s, and the name of it... God, hold on. It's, um... I might still have it up. Let me check. I'm not going to waste too much time with this, don't worry. But um, it's called the Shujo Senshi Sailor Moon. It's just a straight up Japanese game that was never, you know, localized. So I don't know what's going on, but it seems really straightforward. You play as these sailor scouts, you can choose like five of them, and you just fight guys in the streets as them, and that's the whole game as far as I know. It's an anime girl beat em up, man. Check it out. And I should have updated my stream info. I've still got it saying Mario RPG from earlier. I completely forgot. Yeah, that's a thing, man. If you ever find sweets on the ground, like in the street, in real life, like even if they're on a little plate or something, you don't want to. You really don't want to eat it. Like, best case scenario, it's still some food that was sitting on the ground, so. When you play video games and you see like giant strawberries in trash cans and shit, and you eat those to heal. You don't want to do that. And just, just so you know, Macho Tucker, you don't want to eat garbage food off the ground in real life, ever. Sailor Scouts, they can. Uh, Sailor Scouts can do it because they've got just really strong immune systems because they're. Uh, they've got. Just astrological powers or something, and that kind of keeps them from getting sick when they eat cake off the street. But you don't want to do that. The other princesses, apparently. I'm not really up on Sailor Moon. But... This is... It's exactly the kind of game I was hoping it was. <laughs> like, seriously, there's a Coca-Cola in the Demon Dimension. Legitimately a can of Coke just on the floor in some demon time-space continuum, like hell space. I like your idle animation. It's, it's actually a good game so far. Like, honestly, it feels good. He's gonna... Oh, sh he has a little mallet, dude. I was like, I was already expecting the worst from him, but... It was even worse, because he pulled out a little hammer. These guys look like... They would be so insanely hard to- like, if me in real life had to go up against one of these guys, like, if he just walked into my house right now, 
like this guy with like armor growing out of his skin and shit, and I had to fight one of him, it, I'd die. With a gun, I, I would die. Yeah, there's another, there's a Sailor Moon game I used to play because like some fans had translated it or something, and it's like a top-down RPG, like uh, like a Final Fantasy game, but it's Sailor Moon and it's really elaborate. Oh my god. Oh, it's a full heal. Cool. I was hoping since it was uh, Tuxedo Mask's Rose that like picking it up would do something with them, but instead it just heals you. No, none of these games ever, ever got localized, man. And there's... I, w I don't want to say hundreds, but that guy killed me in one hit, dude. I had full health and he blazed through me. And... What is going on? Fighting him is like barely hurting him. This game doesn't fuck around when it comes to bosses, dude. But... Wow, oh, come on. There's a lot. There's maybe... Like, I wanted to say hundreds, and I don't... That's probably an exaggeration, but... Really good... Man, this guy's kicking the shit out of me. Really good, um... It's so hard to focus on this and talk at the same time, I'm sorry. But, um... Suplexed him. I might get through him, I'm just gonna have used up all my lives to do so. But, um, this guy's really tough. Tons of, really, like, perfectly good games like this that they never even considered localizing because they just assumed it was too Japanese, you know? Like, the whole Goemon series on, uh, Super Nintendo alone, dude, I think there's, like, four games in that series just for Super Nintendo. And they all, they get progressively better, and they're really, they're all really good. And they localized the, uh, very first one, and gave it a different name, and, like, just, they translated it, like, they gave it English dialogue, but none of it was really the actual dialogue or anything. I mean, they all the characters had different names and shit, and they never brought over any of the sequels. So, you know, it didn't, the series didn't do too well here because of that, but, oh, come on, I should've won, dude. Oh, I can continue. Don't think I'm above that. I'll continue all night. And stuff like this. Like this... Oh, he's back. Cool. As far as I know... I tried other buttons while I was playing, and, uh... I, I guarantee there's more stuff you can do. Other than just a basic kick, but I haven't got anything to happen yet. Do I still have my water? Yeah. Oh, I guarantee there's more stuff to do. Like, I, I literally promise, I just haven't figured it out yet. This is pretty cool, it has like anime openings for every individual level you go through. So what's the deal? You went through a, a city street, and that was kind of a logical progression for a minute, and then it segued from that into an inexplicable hell dimension. And then the next level is a, a carnival. Like, you're just, you're back to... Back to the daily life. Just back to the normal. Go to the carnival now. Look at this! Look at this! Oh man, I love these kind of beat em ups because the enemies get so. They're already weird starting out. But then they get weird later on in really specific ways. Like her. Like, what is. What is she doing? It's like her day job is to be that. Like, top hat leotard lady with the. And you gotta wait for her to walk back each time because I'm kicking her off the screen. I hate that. See, I'm trying to figure out other buttons now. I, tr I literally have tried every button, dude. I'm just thinking there's gotta be like some kind of like specials I can pull out or something. Not, not looking that way yet, but... <laughs> I think maybe there's a meter at the top I have to charge up somehow or something to do combos, but... Oh, that helps. Panda riding a train. This game already... I'm not trying to make sense. It's just gameplay. Like, they sat down in some writer's room for the Sailor Moon beat em up and said, like, how can we incorporate characters, like, antagonists from the anime? <laughs> Let's just make pandas on trains and shit. Nobody will care. This is the 90s. That panda is from the show. I stand the one. I <laughs> know the one enemy that I called out for being inaccurate is the one that's from the fucking show. Of all the shit. What is- what about her? Or him? I can't tell. The gesture? I don't think that's from anything. 
I'll lose a bet again, I don't care, but like, that thing? That's ridiculous, come on. Mr. Like, a crony of Willy Wonka. I'm digging these, uh, background arts though, honestly. Look at that. There's a whole cool carnival back there, man. Alright, does he drop something off? Or, oh, that was a coincidence last time. I thought he dropped off food when he drove by, but he actually just drives by to be a dick. Yeah, I remember that much, but like, these guys, they look like they fit in with the art style of the show, honestly, I just don't remember them. Like, the girls in the first level that had blades for arms and shit, I think I remember them from something. These guys just look like, I don't know, like cat football players or something. Oh, another one of these, cool. I can do a throw thing with her legs sometimes. Yeah, it's why that show was really easy to digest when I was a little kid, is because, like, there was an overarching plot, I think, but every episode was just, we're on some different bullshit this episode, so you don't have to really be up on the other stuff. You watch a couple episodes, you pick up on who the central characters are and, like, what their deals are, and beyond that, they're just fighting weird different enemies every time. If this guy drives over me again... And yeah, this game is surprisingly chill. There's not a lot of good beat-em-ups for the Super Nintendo. though. I mean, there's some, but this one's legitimately good for... back in the day when beat-em-ups weren't super great yet. Honestly, I was really... My favorite beat-em-ups were all on Sega at this point. I liked uh, Gold Max and Streets of Rage series both a lot. And there was really nothing like that that I played consistently on uh, Super Nintendo. There was certain shit like uh, Super Punch-Out, but that's not a beat-em-up so much as it's like just a really unique kind of game. This kind of conventional beat-em-up is really... I was wondering why this game was popular, dude. Like, people would always pirate it and just swear by it. Like, you gotta get it. Never played it in my life. I played all the weird Dragon Ball games, but I'm sailing moon. I hate this. Her attacks are OP, so you gotta jump over them to get around them, and when you do a jump kick onto her head, she flies off the screen and just punishes you by making you wait five seconds for her to come back. I'll try to, like, kite her over this way, and then maybe... Uh, it's just stupid that I have to do that. There we go. Let's go inside this chocolate castle. Oh, come on, dude! Like, he's just waiting. Oh, he has a lot of health, too. I probably should have told people I was going to come back. Like, I told everybody I was done for the night. I knew this would be this kind of shit, dude. Just from the outside of it, it had, like, chocolate steps. Man, the designers of this game didn't give a fuck, and it worked out in the best possible way. You get a lot of games like this that have just the blandest environments because they were too restricted on what their design philosophy was, you know? These guys just went, hey, let's just make one of the levels just a bunch of giant sweets. Put all the same enemies in it, and have it have nothing to do with what's going on. But the player will like it because it's just neat. And it actually works. Modern game designers should keep it in fucking mind, dude. I think that a team got together and they gave them so much freedom to have fun making this game from what I'm seeing, like, make some weird aliens and shit. Like, that was- like, that guy popped a hammer out of his arm, dude. <laughs> it's like, you can make a Sailor Moon game, the one rule is that it has to be a Sailor Moon game. And beyond that, just do whatever you want. And, like, it, it turned out fucking amazing. They do look like but I you know what? I kind of associate this show with Buffy because it's the same kind of 90s vibe. Second wave feminism shit. 
They were blowing me out, dude. Second wave. Why do I have to wait for all these guys to come to me? Like, you know, they're, just, they're laying over there for a minute, like, catching their breath, and they come back. And in the meantime, you can't really... I mean, look at that. You can't do anything. He was also two of him, somehow. Can I go now? Fine. How many continues do I even get? I'm gonna use two of them, just fucking up. I was right there next to that, uh, jello, too. It's a shame. You notice it's the same enemy sprites, but they're starting to change color for the first time now, so you know that means they're getting tougher. I love beat em up philosophy, dude. Like, it doesn't really. It's the one genre where they let you just kind of cut loose and just. The narrative doesn't make sense at all, and they know that you don't mind. God, dude, there was even a. Um, I mean, most people know about this. I'm not saying this like it's news, but there was a Simpsons beat em up for arcade that just went so fucking off the wall after the first, like, two levels. That, like, it was Simpsons characters, but, like, every environment was this kind of shit, you know what I mean? And, um... Characters that were just kind of benign dickheads in the show became, like, legitimate enemies that were trying to kill you in the game. So the whole experience is just really surreal. But... Everybody likes it. They made a bunch of Simpsons games that took themselves more seriously throughout like the rest of the 90s. And even like the early 2000s had like this weird, most of them sucked kind of thing with Simpsons games, because they were all very, just, they adhered to what, what could conceivably happen in the show, but there was that one weird arcade beat-em-up where it was just like you're flying through space and time doing all this weird fantasy shit. And everybody likes that game the best. Come on, man! I'm not applying any skill to this game at all, by the way. It's probably the laziest run-through I've ever done in a game. Just getting my ass kicked and just farming continues. I mean, I'm enjoying it, though. This is really fun, in a weird way. I gotta change that Bike Thieves hashtag up there, man. That doesn't have any bearing on anything anymore. I think at one point, I did a run-through of uh, Super Punch-Out when I had that, and like, it was that thing where I kept hitting the same point. I was trying out some different ROMs, and every ROM would crash at the exact same point, and it didn't make any sense. So I just like... Got most of the way through Super Punch Out and then just had to stop. It was really weird. That guy's a dickhead, man. Oh, I'm gonna die for real, dude. Like, this boss is definitely gonna kill me, I can tell. Her health bar doesn't even go down when you kick her ass. And she can teleport and shoot fire out of her mouth. Ah, yeah, I'm dead, dude. This is not the story of how I won the Sailor Moon game that night. Look at that! She teleports right onto me, dude. There's no indication, there's no, like, strategic way to avoid it. Oh my god. I bet that was my last continue, too. Does it really just let me continue forever? Like, there's no number on the screen. This game just doesn't care, I think. It's like, just play, play as long as you want, who cares? The teleports, dude.
Come on, son. I want to see what the next level is just based on the fact that they're all really weird. Oh shit, I did something. I started to throw her. I don't even know how I did that. God. It's, it's not the right enemy to test the moves out on, though. Is it? She's, she's canceling my moves and just hitting me anyway while I'm doing them. This is one of those, like, ruins the game for little kids kind of bosses. Yeah, I can grab her somehow, dude. Hey, these moves, are, they're kind of hard to figure out, but they're there. There's things you can do other than just the basic kick. Yeah, I can't even get up. There we go. I pooped on her head. What is his deal today, where he just shows up in the uh, results screens to shit on you and give you a grade? I wasn't aware that he was grading people now. Like, that's his job. He's not helping at all. Plays out like an anime intro every time, and it's just... The same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna save this state here. I'm actually invested enough now that I'm gonna come back to this later. Let's do this. Oh, it's a factory now, that makes sense. Yo, don't go anywhere, come back in a minute, guys.
Alright guys, I'm gonna call it a night for tonight, but I'll be back tomorrow. So, by all means, come back. And I will talk to you later. Say goodbye, stream. Goodbye, stream. <laughs>